I don't ultimately know, and maybe it changes movie to movie, I don't ultimately know how the series feels about the fact that, yeah, actually this doesn't rehabilitate people. Because in Saw 1, it's established Amanda survived her thing and then danny glover weirdly asks like are you rehabilitated or something it's like why would he ask that that's that shouldn't be important to him but she says yes then it's also also revealed in saw two and three that she went she reverted back to drugs and she's working with jigsaw so she has at least enough belief in the process that it can help people yeah, and that she I wants so. to serve <laughs> the person that's carrying out this vision, but she also, her personal problems with drugs continue to resurface. There's a great moment. Again, I keep mentioning Saw, the final chapter, Saw 3D. There is a great moment where they have like a jigsaw support group, which I, which one is a fun <laughs> idea that, that, that there's that at this point, there's this many people that have been put through traps all in this one city that we can have support groups of like survivors and stuff. Conceit of that movie is one of the guys who's saying he's a jigsaw survivor actually wasn't a part of that. And he's just trying to make money off of it. So he's speaking at this group about how he is rehabilitated and then one lady who had to chop off her own arm is like what the fuck are you talking about like look what (laughs) happened to my actually come to think of it i think there is a moment like that in the support group i'm actually thinking of a different scene in one of the other saw movies where a survivor from the trap is in the hospital bed and hoffman is talking to her and he's like did it work out or something and she's like look at my fucking arm like what am i going to do and and then I, i maybe it's even the same character but in the saw support group she's like the only thing i got out of this is handicapped parking and it's like i I love that they (laughs) that some movies draw attention to how bullshit this philosophy is but not all the movies do ultimately i don't know how the series actually feels about that i do think it's kind of frustrating most of the characters seem to think like oh yeah no his philosophy is he doesn't kill people he lets them make decisions it's like okay but even in this movie the first trap someone had to die yeah Already, the the wife and husband, whether she pulls those spikes out or not, those are through vital organs in the husband. He's not going to make it. So someone's dying. Yeah. 